What's up, my friends? Epic day yesterday, 13-2 and two against the books. Going to hook you up right now. Paul George over 32.5 PRA. Grab it on Fliff, minus 125. The odds have since shifted a wee little bit, and I will show you why it's still a tremendous value on Fliff of all books at minus 135 in a hot second. Let's dive into that. We'll talk about prize picks. I got more picks coming at you and some W's. <laughs> But first, yesterday I went 6-1 and one on Twitter. Unbelievable. If you watched my Saturday YouTube video, you also caught a nice and easy W with Brock Purdy. Picks went 11-2, and two, and I banged home a plus 900, plus 550, a plus 1427, and a plus 600 parlay. Even the prize pick slip just missed out on a $2,200 payout. VIP run lately has been unbelievable. This is NBA only. Lots of green. 56-28 and 28 to 67% win rate. That's NBA. You can see Twitter, 16 and 4. It's been a run, an absolute run. Hopefully, you guys are signed up. $14.99 down below, just $14.99 for all of these W's. Now, let's look at the Paul George picks today. And again, 33 and a half is what the line bumped to on underdog and parlay play. You can see it on Fliff right now. Over 32 and a half PRA is minus 135. Look at DK, minus 175, getting 40 cents off there. Minus 154 on Caesars, minus 150 on MGM. Pinnacle and FanDuel removed their lines on this play. So over 32 and a half, Paul George, PRA, Fliff. Official line was minus 125 when I posted it in Discord. Has since moved to minus 135. Last four times he's gone into Indy, he's absolutely gone bonkers. 47 PRA or more all four times where he's gone to Indy, where his career began. Total for tonight is 241 and a half, two point two and a half point spread. So this game's going to be very high scoring. The Pacers, top three pace, bottom three defense. I think Paul George leads the charge tonight, leads the team in minutes since James Harden has arrived. So give me the guy that's going to be on the court the most against his former ball club in a massive total and close spread. Yeah. A recipe for success over 32 and a half. Let's eat. If you're stuck on price picks today, I think the pivot is to the over 29 points and rebounds. This will not be my official pick, though. I'm just telling you that right now. I am not taking this as official. My official play is the over 32 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. My favorite way to use the odds finder here is when you see somebody on Twitter, myself, any other other big cappers or cappers that you have notifications turned on for, you see the tweet and you're like, okay, Paul George, quickly, how do I do this? What do I do? Or Shy Gilgis Alexander, you go to mysparry.com. All right. When you go to myspray.com, you're going to see it up here. You click the odds finder or go to the free tools and articles. You click it there. I don't care where you click it. It comes up. You're like, oh, no, the lines are going to move. I need to hurry up and get this. Shy. All right. You type in the player search right here. You type in S H A and you bring up all the Shy Gilgis Alexander props. And you're like, OK, well, the play was on his rebounds. I got to take his rebounds prop. Over five and a half boards for the day. Okay, what are the odds? There it is. Oh, quick, grab it now. Plus 105 on DK. Super simple, my friends. All I did was go to myspray.com, grab the odds finder, and find the best odds really fast. Or you're worried about the over 36 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. You're like, oh no, it's gonna bump. It's gonna bump. A huge account posted this. There's gonna, there's gonna be so many people placing the over, it's gonna get moved on fliff. Go to myspray.com. Type in shy, look at the prop itself. You'll see all their markets. Get the best line. Oh, okay. I got nothing to worry about. It's here on Caesars at minus 109. Oh, if it moves on price fix, I can grab it on underdog or parlay play. Y'all can make a lot of money by simply just playing the best line on all plays. Speaking of best plays, let's talk about what the math is showing us. Select imply probability highest to lowest. Show 250 entries. Let's go look at site by site real fast. Sleeper. All right. NBA tonight. Cade Cunningham over one and a half threes, the top play on sleeper right now per the math. Per the odds, this is entirely just a math-based equation saying there's an implied probability of 58.54% that he goes over one and a half threes based on these odds. Minus 135, minus 139, minus 135, minus 145. You can have a pretty nice edge over the books by simply just playing the math game. Just play the odds. That's legitimately all you got to do when you're looking at these sites. The, day, the other thing I'd add to it is you know try to find ways to research the individual individual data, the trends after you look at it. Some indicators I like to look for is when you see this. So the under 14 and a half for Dante Exum, uh, starting point guard for Dallas right now with Kyrie Irving out. Dallas on the road in Denver, under 14 and a half points for Exum. And you can see it's juiced on all books, but even more juiced, the juiciest line is Pinnacle, minus 158. And when you've got Penny, sharpest book out there, slamming a direction 
often these will follow and often these will disappear. You won't be able to grab this on sleeper anytime soon later in the day. So I would look at this and I would even maybe even look at his DK line and say, well, minus 130, I'm going to grab it now because I think this line either moves to 13 and a half or it goes all the way up to like minus 150 like Pinnacle has it. Slide over to parlay play and this is uh, where you got to be a little careful, right? You get the bumped lines on parlay play and you saw, we already talked about Paul George. What I wanted to show you though is we leave these numbers in here, the round ones, because this means Trey Young, if you're able to slide this to three and a half would be the number one play on the entire site. So if you've ever wondered, what are the best plays to slide? It's not just based on your research. You should also be playing the math game. What are the best plays to use the slider on? Well, heck, if you can slide Trey Young to three and a half rebounds and take the under, that's incredible. You're getting a minus 185 on Fliff for that, minus 160 on DK, and you can grab that on parlay play. Totally up to you. You got to try it. Slider options. Very clutch. And if you want to try the site out, just click Parlay Play right here. And anytime you click any logo, my promo will pop up. Uh, Aaron Gordon looks like a really interesting play tonight based on the math. You can see over 23 and a half PRA getting juicy everywhere right now. Caesars minus 135, probably the best line you can grab. It looks like uh, and the last chance you should be able to is it looks like all the books are trending in the juice direction. So interesting play. Maybe parlay that together. Underdog Fantasy has some interesting plays. Jalen Williams under seven and a half rebounds and assists. The math is slamming that direction. Make sure you research that one. That could be an interesting game against the Memphis Grizzlies with OKC at home. Ten and a half point favorites. Shai Gil Gilgis Alexander. Again, I was just talking about him a little bit. I'm, I'm intrigued about not this line, but actually his over five and a half rebounds. Uh, Memphis just hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging rebounds against opposing point guards. Uh, I believe giving up top five most, no matter what tr what splits you're looking at, 5, 10, 15, 20 games, doesn't matter. They are just bleeding rebounds to opposing point guards. Uh, it just matters. Can SGA play 30-plus minutes tonight? Will the game stay close enough? If so, I think the over 5.5 at plus odds is a very interesting play. And last but not least, let's take a look at price picks. You can see they bumped the Aaron Gordon line again. That's why you used the optimizer here to find the best lines. You can grab the over 23 and a half on Caesars. And then, of course, we were just talking about it on sleeper picks. It is still available if you want it over there. Best line based on the math that's live right now, DeMar DeRozan, over three and a half rebounds. You can grab that line on DK minus 130. Still interesting. 58.07 chance he hits the over. Just looking at the data real quick. Let me dive into that for you. You know, again, we still have no Zach Levine going to be out for another three weeks or so. And DeMar DeRozan over the last two seasons without him has hit the over in eight of 12 games. His average 4.3 boards. Last four times he's played Philly, he had three, five, eight, and three rebounds. Philly is a very good rebounding team. It does make it a little bit tricky. All right, real quick, let's talk about Kobe White. This has been somebody who's made people a ton of money. My Discord included, we have smashed I think we're 6-0 and on Kobe White props, which is just insane. But the matchup is brutal today against Philly. Point guards have been getting slammed against Philly in every category. Assists, rebounds, points, a lot of unders happen against Philly. So let's talk about Kobe White. You can see Pinnacle juicing the under 5.5 assists today. Uh, Fliff, Caesars, MGM, juice, juice, juice. DK giving you... Fair odds at minus 125 if you like it. Parlay play left it at five and a half if you like the under. And on the flip side, you can get plus odds to the over if you think you can hit the over on the assist. Let's talk about the three-point props. Massive juice to the under four and a half threes. But then on the over four and a half threes, you get plus odds like crazy. Without Zach Levine, he's hit the over this season in five of nine games. And he hooked at four plus three or threes in three of them. So he's hit four plus in eight of the nine games, I will say that if this pops up on price picks, I'd actually be interested at that over four, like I see on underdog for the points prop. Now, this is where it gets tricky. So you got minus 141 to the under on Pinnacle, right? Everyone likes to reference Pinnacle as the sharpest book, and it makes sense. I totally get it. That means you get a minus 105 here on DK. That's 36 cents lower than Pinnacle. That's kind of nice. So if you like that play, Make sure you get it on DK. And this is why I tell you, listen, if somebody posts something, just run to my optimizer here and type in their name and just go look at the books and find the best place to place it. And you guys can get all of the odds to any player you want to research whenever somebody talks about them on Twitter or YouTube. And if you're looking for the VIP, the premium stuff, my gosh, I mean, just scroll through my pinned tweet and you'll see a lot of happy members 
It's very simple. $14.99. Get the hookup. This is all from last night. I mean, we just went absolutely nuclear. Hopefully, you join up today. $14.99. Link down below. I'll see you on the inside. I got a lot of picks coming at you today. Let's make some money.